Hi and welcome to another section 9 tutorial. Um, this tutorial is again with F Expansions Guru and this one today is going to be about how we get Guru to have multiple outputs within Logic or so you could say but it's going to be Logic because that's what I use. Okay, so let's start. So what I've done is I've already I've just started up a new track. Um, and I've got one here and I'm gonna pop in my F expansion guru and as you can see there's a multiple out eight times stereo and that brings up our guru. Okay, I'm gonna put in let's just pop in a lindrum. I'm only gonna do it on one um, engine, but if I wanted to I could have all things on loads of different things on all eight engines and have different multiple outputs going across it all. But I'm just gonna stick to one engine for now because the process is the same all the way through. Okay, so we're just gonna put a quick one bar loop in. Just a quick four to the floor sort of thing. Um put some hats in there like so and maybe a cabasa on eighth notes. Let's just turn the volume of the engine down a little. And then turn the hi hat down as well. Okay, so it's a pretty simple loop, nothing special. Okay, let's just set up the four bar cycle there as well. Right, okay, so we have a guru, we've got a loop running, 120 bpm, blah de blah, whatever. Right, so what we need to do now is I'm just gonna, in the sake of good housekeeping, I'm gonna go to drums, I'm gonna label that so we know what it is. Okay, and then we're going to go to our window, we're going to open an environment window, which is Apple 8, I'll do that there, play, and there's my environment, my mixer environment, what I've got so far, so there's nothing basically. Okay, so what I need to do, we've got the Guru Instrument 1, uh, so what I need to do is I need to create a layer, because I want to have these, I'm going to name it Guru drums so I can come back to it and I know what it is so my mixer back to there I'm going to copy that and I'm going to put it into my guru drum layer okay it's like so alright what I need to do now for the guru is I need to create some auxiliary channel strips because that is what the guru will play out to so go to new channel strip auxiliary and I'll put it back in the main mixer but again I can press highlight that press alt or option and drum layer and it'll cut it'll move that into my whatever layer I want it in. Okay so new channel strip auxiliary that's two three and four okay I only need four auxiliaries for this because I've only got four parts going um, but you think, if I remember rightly, you can have up to 64 auxiliaries going, so you can have different number of uh, multi output um, audio units, VSTIs, whatever you're using, and you can run loads of different things, have all its own separate effects processing, whatever. Okay, so what we need to do now is we need to have an input on these channel strips. Okay, so we have no input that I can use, there's no, that's just my audio inputs etc. Okay so the reason for this is if you look at the channel strips they're all actually mono channel strips so I'm going to click this little circle down here and I'm going to turn them all into stereo channel strips because if you remember my Guru go back down to it there and it's got stereo or multiple output 8 times stereo so it'll only recognize stereo channel strips. We go back into there instrument 1 which is instrument 1 there Guru 3 and 4 and we have it. Guru 3 and 4 on this one because I'm going to make them stereo channels. Guru 5 and 6 and as you can see from this little drop down menu I can have 16 different outputs. Oops. Guru 5 and 6. Okay so the trick to do now is we need to turn these back into left and right mono channels. Okay so I need to click and hold on there and another drop down menu mono stereo left right and surround so left is for three and then right for four and then five is going to be left and then six is going to be right 
There we go. So what we've done is we've created our external ch extra channel strips for Guru. So I play Guru, and you can see it comes out on its stereo one and two channel. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create this so I'm going to have pads going to different places so kick is there, snare is there, hi-hat is there oh, actually I may turn that into the tambourine it should kind of like that and move it up to there that's a little better. Okay, so my tambourine is on that pad there, cabasa on that pad there. So we're going to go to the edit, pad edit, which is also there. I'm going to choose my kick drum. Okay, and if we let's just do a little bit of moving and jiggling about, you can see my channel strips, you can see my guru. Okay, so I hit the pad, guru pad, it comes out on channel one and two. Let's turn the volume up so we can see it a little better. There, okay. So I'm going to go to main output, click on main output, and I'm going to go to sub output 1. So main output is 1 and 2, sub output 3 and 4, output 2 is 5 and 6, output 3 is 7 and 8, 9 and 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay. So sub output 1. So if I click this, it's going to come out on. See that? Output 3 and 4, it's going to come out on auxiliary 1 and 2 because we haven't panned it. So we need to pan this hard left. There we go, it's on auxiliary one channel, which we can then rename as kick, for instance, and then snare, we're going to go back, and we're going to put that on at sub output one again, that's no good, so what we're going to do is we're going to pan it all the way right to channel two. Okay, so next is our tambourine, still on one and two. So sub output 2, we're going to knock it on, as you can see it's coming out on 5 and 6, so we're going to pan that all the way left, there we go, and then finally the cabasa, we're going to do sub output 2, pan hard right, okay, and there you go, what we've done there is, We've put them all on their own channel strips, so each has got its own audio channel strip, and we can now mix them separately, like so. As well as if we want to, we can put some let's let's put some rockabilly acoustic bass on the kick drum because we can. Okay, I'm going to put a channel strip set in. I'm going to put a lo-fi processor, purple crunch, whatever that is, on the snare. Let's name that as well so we know what it is. Snare. Uh, tam. And finally a kabasa. Okay. Put a big hot plate on the tambourine. Let's have a look at some old stuff. Um, brass and there we go. Craziness. We can do a panning on that. And there we go. So that's basically how you do it. All right. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it's of use to people. Um, there we go. Okay. Alright guys, peace out. Thanks for watching.